I'm Brian with Next Level Gardening. If you're looking to join an online garden community that offers tips, tricks, and support to help you take your garden to the next level, you're in the right place. Get started now by clicking subscribe and hit the bell so you never miss anything. Now let's get growing. It's time to plant onions. If you live in a mild winter climate, if you don't, you can use the same information in the spring. If you do live in a cold winter climate where you get snow and freezes, then I will remind you in the spring when it's time to plant your onions. Let me know in the comments if you've grown onions before and if they were successful, if they were a failure. I had plenty of failures, which I'll talk about in a minute. To successfully grow onions, you need to know how they grow and why they perform the way they perform. I didn't know that for more years than I care to admit, but I would year after year get a harvest that looked like this. Not too impressive. Then I found out that there are certain types of onions that you grow in certain places. Onions are photothermoperiodic, just meaning that they uh, are very sensitive to the day length and to the temperature that they're growing in. So in the beginning of its life cycle, an onion seedling will put up a lot of greenery uh, and they will grow only greenery until the day length reaches a specific amount of hours and that signals the onion to stop leaf production and to start bulb production, which is what you want, unless you're growing green onions and then it doesn't matter. So my problem and why I got those puny little uh, nothing onions is because I was growing the wrong kind of onion. Those onions were waiting for long days, more daylight hours than we have here in a day. And so they never started to develop their bulbs or they started too late and didn't have time. So different onion varieties need a specific amount of sunlight, day hours, for a specific amount of days. And so you have to look, they're all, or should be, all labeled whether they're short day, intermediate day, or long day onions. Now I'm gonna put a map up right here. The further north you go from the equator, you are gonna grow long day onions because your day length in the spring and summer are longer days than uh, in the south. And so if you're in the middle part, those are intermediate day. And if you're in the south, those would be uh, short day onions. So my problem was I was growing long day onions when I was supposed to be growing short day onions. And here's one of the problems. This is why you have to know where you are, and what type of onions you should be growing, and then the onions you're looking at, you need to know what they are. Because at least here in Southern California, there are long day onions at the nurseries and garden centers, and there are short day onions right next to them. Now, long day onions will never produce anything here. And so it's really disingenuous of the nurseries to actually even have those on their shelves. They need to put out products that grow and I'm sure not all nurseries are like this, but a lot of them are. Uh, they need to put out products that their customers can actually grow. So just know before you go in that you probably will be hit up with a couple of options and you need to know what your option should be. Now there's a couple different ways to grow onions. You can grow them from seed, you can grow them from transplants, or you can grow them from sets. Seeds are pretty self-explanatory. Transplants are just seeds that are sprouted for you already. And sets are um, a bulb that's grown from the previous year to a small size. So you get a little bulb and you get little leaves on top and you plant those in the ground. I have never had luck with sets. Let me know in the comments if you have or if you're kind of had the same experience as I did where they really just don't produce like they should. So I prefer to grow from seed uh, or from transplants. Now I'm gonna insert a little video clip right here of how to grow from seed, because this year I chose to grow from transplants. And here's the reason why. There are, I can't even tell you, how many plants in each one of these six cells. So it's not the same, you know, generally I grow from seed, first of all, because of the variety, you get more variety to look for seeds rather than go to the garden center. They probably just have a couple of varieties of whatever you want to grow. Um, and second, it's cost. 
you know, generally this, a six pack like this here would cost, you know, $4 and something. And if you're buying peppers or cucumber, you're going to get six plants for $4 and something. Well, here I might have a hundred, 200 plants for $4 and something. So for me to get a jump on things, I'm going to go with the transplants because they actually had the same variety Texas Grano or Grano that I grew last year from seed. So it just made sense. I was there. I saw them. I thought, so it just gives you a head start. But if you want to grow from seed, you can still do that right now in November if you're in a mild winter climate. So I'm going to insert that video clip right now, very short, to show you uh, just the special needs of onion seeds and how to plant them. And then I'll be right back and we'll get started planting, uh, separating and planting these onion transplants. Now onions like loose, well-draining soil. They also like lots of sun. So what I'm gonna do is, and I have drip lines going through the bed, so I'm just gonna make sure that my little trenches are right under the drip lines. So I'm just gonna, and it, they're only gonna be about a quarter inch deep at the most. So right along the drip line, I'm gonna make a little trench. All right, now I'm gonna sprinkle the seeds in. And you wanna do it, you know, you don't have to worry too much about the spacing because we can thin them. And the great thing about onions is in a month or two, you're gonna see if you've got blank spots or if you've got spots that are too full of seedlings and you can pluck the ones that are, not pluck them, but gently pull them out of wet soil. And it's really hard to kill an onion seedling. They're very sturdy. And so pull them out of the spots where you have too many and just transplant them into the spots where you might have a little thin area. So I'm just gonna sprinkle the seeds. I have an average amount just right along that trench. And then just cover it up. Then I'm gonna water them in and once they're up, I'm gonna start feeding them every two weeks with a well-balanced fertilizer. So I'll be using either the um, Neptune's Harvest Tomato and Veg or the Neptune's Har Harvest Fish and Kelp just as a general purpose fertilizer every couple of weeks. And then you're gonna to wanna to stop doing that after about four to five months. You're gonna see the plant starting to bulb up. And at that point, you don't wanna give them any extra nitrogen. What happens if you give them extra nitrogen during the bulbing process is the bulbs will start to split. You definitely don't want that. So once they start to bulb, they're done with the fertilizer until harvest time. All right, so now it's time to plant our uh, onion transplants. I'm gonna be planting in containers. Now this is the same method, whether you're planting in the ground or in a raised bed or in a container. Uh, just because I am in a state of flux right now, I've got a temporary vegetable garden right here. Um, and I also have the brand new vegetable garden that's still under construction. And if you haven't seen either of these being done, go over to my other channel, Next Level Homestead, and you can see the progress of that. So I'm gonna plant these onions because this temporary vegetable garden right here is actually that, it's temporary. It's until spring when the new vegetable garden is done and I can start planting over there. Now all of these crops here are fall and winter crops and so they'll be done by spring. Onions are not the same. They will grow through probably next June, which is going to take up this area or wherever I put it for longer than that season. And so I don't, I can't do that right now. So I'm going to be growing them in containers. And if you grow in containers, I know a lot of you do, you can grow right along with me. So the first thing we need to do if starting from transplants is actually separate the plants themselves. You do not want to plant this entire plug in the same spot. I don't know, there's like 20 plants here and um, that you can't fit 20 onion bulbs in this amount of space. So they're very forgiving. Onions are really forgiving plants. So just kind of tease this root ball apart and start to expose the roots and then gently give it a tug and you'll start to see individual little plants that you can just tease out, just like that. Now this is one of the containers I'm gonna be growing 
my onions in. Um, it's one of these uh, metal wash tubs that I brought from the other house. So I'm gonna go fill it up with some compost and I'll be right back. Now the spacing for onions kind of depends on the uh, final size of the variety, but generally, you know, fist size or a little bit bigger. There's some varieties that are two fist sizes, but typically six to eight inch spacing is, is a good rule of thumb. And for the depth, you want to plant just where, where it, you see where it starts to turn white. You want about half of that little tiny bulb like structure under the ground or or even just the whole thing where it starts turning white just where it comes out of the ground and just firm around them a little bit also make sure they're spaced from the edge of the container If you get to a part, be hello, filming. Okay, if you get to a part where they don't pull off as easily one by one, uh, go ahead and take it in the center of the entire clump and pull it apart, and that's gonna start to loosen it up a little bit more again. See, now they come out easily one by one. All right, so I got 15 onions in this container and I only have to find space for another 300 more. Like I said, they're very forgiving. Uh, so if you plant them a little bit deeper than you're supposed to or a little more shallow than you're supposed to, they're typically gonna figure themselves out. So one of the cool things about onions is they have, you think about their bulb and then the roots underneath the bulb, they go fairly deep with their root system. They're also a long growing crop. They take a long time to produce, like I said, from now until June. And so all this space, the soil underneath them, you can actually overplant or interplant with something else like lettuce. Now this is Tom Thumb. It's a small head lettuce, I guess. It was just a freebie from Baker Creek. I'm gonna go ahead and sprinkle that over the, um, the surface of the soil here. And I'll get a, a good two, three crops of lettuce before the onions are ready to harvest. So it's just a way to save space. If you're growing in containers, you may be a small space gardener, and this is just gonna help maximize your space even more. So just sprinkle that lettuce pretty liberally uh, over the top of the soil. And I'm just gonna scratch it in. They don't need to be buried very deep at all. So this will be more than enough. Um, you can also plant small flowers. So this time of year, maybe pansies or something like that. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of straw and just loosely sprinkle it over. I'm actually used to, the straw that I used to get was a lot finer than this. So I may source it from a different area next time. Now most of the time, any type of straw is gonna be fine, but when you've got something as delicate or small as these onion seeds, or seedlings, or lettuce, a little bit finer straw would probably be better. But I'm just gonna put a little bit over just to protect the soil from the sun, keep it a little moisture for the lettuce uh, seeds that we need to germinate. And then just make sure that these onions are still standing straight up tall. Uh, they will work themselves out, but they really, it's better if they grow straight up from the soil and don't have to make any kind of turns. Now, if you planted onion seed instead of transplants, that's no problem. You can continue to, you can just put the, uh, the straw down and it will find its way straight up through there. Now, I'm also going to plant, and I don't know where yet, but I got some um, just green bunching onions. These can be planted just about anywhere. Uh, and at any time, they can be planted right now and actually have a harvest in about 30 days. And they're frost hardy. So wherever you are right now, as long as there's no snow on the ground, um, you might be able to get some bunching onions in. So that's it. I hope you learned something. If you did, give the video a thumbs up. It really helps. And I'll see you next time.